guys, it's Melanie, and I am your Tuesday vlogger on Back to Basics WLS. How's everybody doing? Um, this week's topic is about goal weight. How do you figure out your goal weight? Uh, is it something that your surgeon discussed with you? Is it his goal number for you? Like, you know, he expects that you'll get to a certain number. Um, do you give yourself a goal weight as your weight comes down? Do you readjust that? I know some people, I've seen people do that, you know, who say I'm going to stop at, let's say, 170 and then get to 170 and push further. Um, you know, and, and a discussion about how you, how, how you come up with that number and how you, you know, do everything. I think, um, you know, certainly for me, okay, so I'm still hovering in the 190s, right? And for a while, um, for a quick minute there, um, in the 180s before my little stall up here higher, um, 12s were my friends, size 12s were my friends. And that was a right. very, that big, was a very big deal for me. A very, very, very big deal. Um, 14s are pretty much my friends now. They're my, they're my besties. Um, so if you were to ask me, so am I happy to be in a 14, you know, all about perspective, right? Because when I started this journey, you know, uh, I dreamed about being in a 14. Now I, I consider myself stalled here because I would like to be smaller than a size 14. Um, and, and I'm working on that, you know, a, a, a little bit at a time, but how do you come up with the number? And I think it's an important topic because, um, you know, I, I don't, if you're watching this video, you know, I certainly, I want you to come up with this number for yourself and what feels good for you. I don't want you to, to succumb to any perceived, perceived peer pressure. I don't think there is any peer pressure um, to be a certain size, but I don't, it's an individual, it's an individual so decision. So when we're talking about it being an individual decision, you know, there, I think it's how you define success for yourself and how you define um, what's comfortable for you. Um, now, there, there may be, you know, and again, I'm not talking about anybody specifically. I'm just talking in general terms, okay? And um, based on audience, there's always going to be people that some things relate to and some people don't. That's the whole X, Y, Z, and H. If you agree with what I'm saying, cool. If you don't, just throw it away. I'm not going to be offended. Um, but I don't know that my body was meant to be um, a zero or two. And I, I don't. I don't think that that is how you measure ultimate success in your weight loss. So I know uh, Kim Fantastic. I know other people have done videos of recent, right? And I'm a little bit behind and I have to catch. But, you know, Kim and I had had a conversation in Vegas like a year ago and, and even in, in this time around about, you know, maybe the concept of what size would you like to be? Because that's a different thing for everybody too. You know, I'm 5'5". Five five, so what I look like at... When I get to a, like, let's say 140, 150 pounds, what I look like is going to be different than someone who's five foot seven, someone who's five foot tall. Um, so, you know, what size you're comfortable with. And I've seen videos of people who, um, you know, are currently wearing, like, let's say a size eight and they're, and they're struggling. They want to get down lower, get down lower. And I say, you know, you have to stop and pause and congratulate yourself because when in life did you think you were going to be an eight? And an eight is smaller than American average. American average is 12 or 14, right? Um, yeah. So I think there's some credence in saying, you know, me personally, um, you know, I had originally set my goal weight at 140 and um, I don't know what my body will fit in at 140. I'm going to guess maybe a six. I don't know. Um, you know, will I have muscles that will determine that maybe I'd be a bigger size than someone my the same height as me might have a di different body makeup and they might be a four, they might be an eight. Um in my mind today, I would think that I would be happy if eights were loose on me. Um, and who knows, maybe when I get there, I might want to be littler than that. But right now, that's I'd be comfortable if, um, if eights were loose on me. And so that's what I'm pushing for. We'll see again what happens when I get there. Now, did my surgeon have a goal for me? Um, no, listen, you know, I have three cc's and a 10 cc band. If my surgeon had his way in that band... hand... Um, but he didn't necess necessarily give me a goal. He just said that um, there were a, a few people that had gone through this process and only had one fill and, and made it totally to their goal. So um, it wasn't really a strict conversation along those lines, you know. Um, and I think that's different for everybody and, 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 and different people. But that's what I say. You know what? You know yourself. You love yourself, I hope. And um, there's this thing about focusing on weight and focusing on goal and focusing on size and thinking you're only a success if you get down to a zero or a two. And that's not good. Don't set yourself up that way. 
you know, it's this Tony Robbins quote that I was reading yesterday that says, um, uh, the thing about weight loss is to not make it pervasive. And by pervasive, it means to not make your struggle, your struggle with, weight. with weight loss the whole thing that defines you, the whole thing about your life, okay? Um, I'm not doing well on weight, so therefore I suck at life and I'm a bad person and da da da. And it infiltrates through every single thing that you do. He's a, 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 a successful person along a weight loss journey will say something like, you know what, I have an issue with um, my ability to lose weight as I would like, and that's it because it doesn't define your entire being. Um, yeah, so anyway. Um, Congratulations to everyone on every little bit of weight loss, on every little bit of getting down, on every little bit of thinking where you were when you started this journey and now being littler. And that's what it's about. It's about being healthy and healthy is healthy for... But, um, okay. Thanks, guys. I'm interested, very interested on this topic. So uh, I hope you have a great week and I'm going to throw in a little clip here. Okay? Bye-bye. Now I'm taping. Say hi, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Doing a little car video to show you all that Ed really does exist. I'm alive. <laughs>